Hi there, this is Srikanth Sari. So, in this lesson, we are going to learn about uh, the formatted, uh, the various ways to format uh, the output in C++ using the cout statement and uh, the two IO manipulation uh, methods, which are set width. Okay. So, mainly we focus on set width only. Uh, so, let me launch the ID here. So, we know that we are using uh, Visual Studio 2012 for, for Windows Desktop Express Vision. Okay. It takes a moment to load since this is a huge piece of IDE from Microsoft. So first let us create a new project here, so file new project. Okay. Takes a moment because my system is uh, ancient. So general tab, empty project, all usual procedure. So let's name our project as uh, formatted IO2. Okay. Since already we have another project with the name formatted IO here. So formatted I/O two, <coughs> and uh, it takes a moment to create the project and follow the structure here. Okay. So now it's created a project with the name formatted I/O two, and let's create a new uh, CPP file here, the source folder section, code and dot CPP. And let's name it as formatted I/O two dot CPP. Okay. And let's go to full screen here so here our intention so first let me add all the basic stuff like uh, header files and main and everything coin.h using using namespace std and the main function okay and that gets you to make the output constant okay so here our intention uh, is to uh, how to uh, learn how to uh, format the output in the console uh, window uh, so for that purpose uh, let's take uh, let's build a table of uh, names and salaries of uh, two to three employees in an organization okay so to do that uh, let's take uh, the three names first here okay so before that, let's add uh, our two more uh, header files here. One is string, okay? <coughs> string and iomanip, as we have seen in the last lesson. Iomanip uh, is a header file where the the set width and set fill and set pressure, all the functions were declared. Okay. So first, let's take uh, three uh, string names here. Okay. So name one. So name one is equal to let's say let's take my name only Srikant sorry okay and string name two <coughs> excuse me name two Anil Kumar Sare okay and string name three let's take Shant. Okay. So again, uh, let's take a float variable uh, for storing the salaries here. Okay. The salaries of three consecutive employees. So float salary is equal to. Let's have some good salary for employee one. And float salary two is equal to. Let's store some value. Okay. So intentionally here we have taken uh, even though we are storing integer values to the floating point uh, to, to the variables so intentionally we have taken a uh, float as salary so universally the salary uh, variable will always be float here okay so if you want you can take int uh, that doesn't matter here okay so let's use our contemporary seo statement here so just to print the name as a heading of the so here our intention is to build a table like uh, output in the console window so for that reason, so I have taken uh, uh, this uh, the COT statement here. Okay, so it's name and the next field heading is salary. Okay, so let's use our contemporary endl statement here. Okay, so to print the output in the next uh, line, so name. So under the name, we need to print. Uh, let's uh, to print it under the name. Let's print the name one here. Okay. 
It's the Virbut, Nemo the Virbut. And let's have this huge gap. And again under the salary, let's print the salary one here, okay. So now if you just run this piece of code until now, so let's see in the output window how it looks like, okay. Okay, so it looks a bit uh, ugly. Uh, <laughs> that's because we need to uh, give some spaces there. Let's first I'm trying to increase the font size of this output window here. So console and 36, okay. So here, uh, you have the salary, uh, you have to adjust that salary somewhat, uh, that means you need to have some more gap here. Okay, so now if you save and again run your program once again. So if you observe, still it's moving or else it's a couple of spaces once again. Okay, so now it's good, good to go. So if you observe the name, uh, the Srikanth Dasari name exactly sits under this uh, row heading here, okay, a column heading here and the salary also exactly fits here, okay. So this is one way of doing, so let's fill it out with the other variables also here. So let's uh, output the other name, name 2, okay. So the same number of uh, spaces once again, okay, salary 2, okay. So in the same way again, name uh, name 3 okay so name 3 and uh, salary 3 here okay so here we have done with all the uh, whatever the variables we have taken and stored some values of names and salaries here okay so again let's run the this tiny piece of code without using the manipulation method so how it has gone <laughs> since we haven't used the endl statement uh, it's looking very ugly gibberish let's add our uh, contemporary endl statement to each and every uh, co statement here okay so endl endl and endl here okay so now if you run the program so you get the output uh, somewhat uh, like this in a table format here okay so although uh, this is not a best practice uh, to use uh, uh, so if you look into the look into your program so it looks very unformatted way uh, not only the output but also the code okay so presentation uh, or else if you give uh, your code or else if any other person uh, verifies your code uh, uh, since the C++ li uh, library has a huge functions to manipulate uh, the input and output uh, so uh, we have to make use of uh, them uh, okay so now the, the, the same output uh, let us uh, do it in a different manner here okay so first let us have some spaces here slash and slash and so wantedly i am uh, doing this slash and instead of handle statement here okay so in the next short statement uh, let's have let's now let's make use of this uh, set width function here okay so set width of 15 okay so now if you say name and again set width set width of 15 okay set width of 15 and now if you say salary okay so now if you uh, run your application run your program once again i think we didn't stop stop the application again stop the application okay so now if you see, uh, since we have made use of that set fit function, so automatically uh, the headings or the column heading is right justified, okay, it looks somewhat uh, good here, okay, so whenever you present your application, console application to other uh, end user, so if it's in a good formatted way, that always makes a good impression here, okay, so let's uh, print out the other things also here, again, uh, instead of using those uh, spaces between the uh, variable names here i am making use of this my set width function once again so set width of 15 once again okay so set width of 15 again uh, now name one okay so set width of uh, 15 once again again salary one here okay so now if you run your uh, program and see the output uh, how it looked like looks like oh god so we haven't uh, given the end statement here okay so now if you see so now if you observe uh, the same thing uh, the previous uh, uh, way how we have done 
So now if you observe, the name is right justified and the exactly, uh, even though the salary field is again uh, right justified exactly under the salary. Okay. So in the same way, if you uh, keep on uh, filling the values, so first let us uh, first let us copy first let us copy the entire thing and uh, paste it a couple of times here. Okay. So let's change the variables names of the variables here to name to and salary to and name three and salary three here. Okay. So now if you run your application. Okay, <laughs> once again we have forgot uh, to add the endl, contemporary endl statement here, okay. So without endl, uh, it's like a mess here, okay. So the endl is very essential, endl or slash n to make the output to print in the next line here, okay. So run the application, so if you see, if you observe, okay, the presentation uh, is quite different here, okay. So in the previous uh, one, without using the uh, this, without making using making use of this I/O manipulation methods, if you observe what we have uh, print uh, printed to the console at console window, so it's quite a bit difference is there. Okay, so in order to uh, present it even uh, more in a good way, so let's add this uh, strings to differentiate that uh, small character, something like this. Okay. Quotations, close the quotations, and once again, endl. Okay, so the same thing sits beneath the heading once again, once more. Okay, so now you run your application. So, if you observe here, so these are all these things are presentational uh, things. Uh, so, by using, uh, so if you go back to the code once again. So to go back to the code. Uh, so if you reduce uh, to somewhat to 12 here, uh, set it to 12 and run your application. Most, uh, if you make it uh, 13 and if you run your program once again, <coughs> 13 or 14, so all design issues. Okay, so instead of making a huge space, you can get now it looks perfect. Okay, so everything the salaries are aligned in one order uh, since this takes an extra character here. Uh, so that's move. Uh, that's we previously that's moved a bit to right here. Okay, so now it looks good. Okay, so all these things are design issues. So if you uh, so go back to your program once again. So we have just we have done nothing. Just we have taken three uh, variables for names and salaries, and we have without using the, the manipulation method, we have somewhat tried to print it out uh, mm -hmm. uh, using the CO statement with with space and all. Okay, so uh, we have set with function. So we made it made use of it, and we have presented the output clearly. So we, once again, if you run the program, so if you observe, uh, if you make use of those IO manipulation methods, your output always uh, looks uh, clean and neat. Okay. So whenever you give to your user, okay. So this is the basic step about uh, uh, making use of uh, uh, formatting uh, uh, IO manipulation methods, okay. So see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.